everybody forgets about the GS. The second generation Lexus GS is still highly underappreciated. The winner is the new Lexus GS series, Motor Trends 1998 Import Car of the Year. The second generation Lexus GS not only delivered impressive power, but also showcased exceptional handling dynamics. Equipped with double wishbone suspension at all corners, the new GS demonstrated its prowess in terms of driving dynamics. It represented Toyota's vision of a luxury sports sedan. Successfully combining performance and luxury into one harmonious package. The car's impressive performance even earned it some interesting trivia. It became a favorite among VIP tuners, and at one point, the second-gen Aristo held the distinction of being the most stolen car in famously crime-free Japan. In fact, an article in the Nikkei Business newspaper recounted an anecdote of Toyota CEO Hiroshi Okuda pushing an Aristo to 100 miles per hour on a Japanese expressway, explaining that speed is a drug. The interior of the GS300 was designed to exude luxury and sophistication. It featured walnut wood trim on the center console, complemented by plush leather seating, offering both comfort and elegance. The automatic tilt and telescoping steering wheel added convenience for the driver. For audiophiles, the option of a Nakamichi premium stereo system provided a high-quality audio experience. Safety was prioritized with standard driver and front passenger airbags. Optional features included a moonroof, remote 12 CD auto changer, and traction control. In 1996, the transmission was upgraded from a 4-speed automatic to a 5-speed automatic, enhancing performance and efficiency. The GS300 aimed to occupy the price position that the original LS400 flagship had held since its introduction in 1989. As the LS400 had moved up market over the years, the GS300 was positioned to offer a compelling alternative at a lower price point. When the GS300 debuted, the base price of the LS400 had risen to $47,000, while the GS300 started at $37,930. However, despite its promising features, sales of the GS300 were moderate. Factors such as the appreciation of the Japanese yen against the dollar, making the vehicle relatively expensive, and the strong competition from more powerful V8 sports sedans contributed to declining sales over the years. By 1997, the price of the GS300 had reached $46,195. Production of the first-generation GS sedan concluded in 1997. Meanwhile, the GS400, produced in the JZS161 body style, began production on August 4, 1997 and was officially launched in 1998. In response to customer demands for more power, the American market GS400 was equipped with the UZ series V8 engine delivering an impressive 300 horsepower and 310 pound per foot of torque. Edmunds.com reported a quick 0 to 60 acceleration time of 5.4 seconds for this 3,693 pound sedan. The GS300, on the other hand, returned with a slightly revised version of the previous generation's 3.0 liter inline six engine, now producing 228 horsepower and 225 pound per foot of torque. Edmonds reported a 7.6 second 0 to 60 acceleration time for the GS300. Both models featured a five speed automatic transmission, with the GS400 equipped with steering wheel shift buttons for added control. Notably, no turbo models were offered outside of Japan. The impressive 0 to 60 time of the GS400 led Lexus to claim that it was the world's fastest production sedan, solidifying its performance credentials. Lexus created significant buzz for the second generation GS sedan with its tagline, Something Wicked This Way Comes. This response to the new model surpassed expectations, as sales reached 30,622 vehicles in the first year and continue to rise in the following years, stabilizing at 28,079 vehicles by 2000. The GS300 had an average base price of around $38,000 in the United States, while the GS430 averaged around $47,000 
making it an attractive offering in the luxury sedan segment. The remarkable success of the GS sedan led Lexus to keep it in their lineup for over eight years. In the 2001 model cycle, the second generation GS underwent some notable updates. Clear tail lights with turn signal indicators were introduced in the trunk area, and the front end received a slightly revised grille and subtly tinted headlights. Xenon high-intensity discharge headlights became standard on the V8 models and optional on the i6. The interior received additional wood trim, and steering wheel shift buttons were added to the GS300. Furthermore, in 2001, the V8 engine's displacement was increased by 0.3 liters, resulting in the model being renamed as the GS430. Although peak horsepower remained unchanged, torque saw an increase to 325 pounds per foot, further enhancing the performance of the GS430. In 2001, Lexus introduced a limited production variant of the GS300 known as the Sports Design Edition. This special edition incorporated several performance enhancements, including the sports suspension from the GS430, wider 225-55 VR16 Michelin Pilot HX tires, and polished alloy wheels, all aimed at delivering a sportier driving experience. The interior of the Sport Design Edition featured perforated leather upholstery, brushed aluminum accents, and dark stained walnut trim, enhancing its luxurious and sporty appeal. Limited to a production run of 3,300 units for the summer of 2001, the GS300 Sport Design was a unique offering within the GS lineup, with its distinctive features setting it apart from the standard models. Production of the limited edition model continued until 2005, catering to those seeking a more exclusive and performance-oriented GS variant. The accolades for the GS sedan continued to pile up, with Motor Trend naming it the Import Car of the Year for 1998. The Car and Driver magazine also recognized the GS, including it on their prestigious 10 Best list for three consecutive years from 1998 to 2000. These honors further validated the exceptional quality, performance, and appeal of the GS within the competitive luxury sedan segment, cementing its reputation as a standout vehicle in its class. When the second generation Aristo reached the end of its production cycle in 2005, so did the Aristo name. That same year, Lexus was finally introduced as a brand in Japan, and henceforth, the beautiful third-generation model was exclusively marketed as the Lexus GS. While we won't delve too deeply into the newer iterations, it is intriguing to note the irony that after initially passing on the opportunity to offer a high-performance GS in the U.S., Lexus is now, three decades later, doing precisely what the original Aristo could have accomplished. Today, Lexus presents the awe-inspiring GSF, featuring a breathtaking 471 horsepower V8 engine. This magnificent vehicle delivers blistering speed, an exhilarating exhaust note, and stands as a remarkable high-performance executive sedan, one of the finest offerings in the market. Unfortunately, sedans are gradually losing popularity, overshadowed by the surge of high-performance luxury crossovers. The Lexus GSF represents the last of its kind in more ways than one, marking the end of an era for big Japanese sports sedans. The legacy of the Lexus GS may be that of an expensive and dependable car that remains underappreciated by many. However, it is a sleeper, a hidden gem that astounds those who truly understand its capabilities. Many owners may find themselves pleasantly surprised by the hidden potential within this remarkable vehicle.